What is up, YouTube? Okay, I am Rey Mysterio in this situation. We are recording yet um an, an episode of the uh, old-fashioned, I don't know, old-fashioned, what the hell I'm talking about, of uh, WWE Revolution. Uh, we are back, and uh, better than ever, and uh, we're playing as Rey Mysterio. As you remember last time, we kind of left off here. You know what? What are you doing, Sin Cara? Get the fuck over where I can fucking tag you, you idiot. Damn it. I don't like being Rey Mysterio. He's so small and stupid. I think I have to win this match, too, which is the worst part possible. As you can see, there's a Damian Sandow call over in the corner that Cody Rhodes is about to tag in. Actually, he's just going to get out of the ring. Boom! Eat some, Sandow. All right, time to tag in the real leader of this team, Sin Cara. Sin Cara. Sin Cara. All right, I don't know why I keep on just chanting his name. Sin Cara with the, uh, with the, uh, the Russian leg loop there. And, uh, Sin Cara is going to reverse this. Never mind. I guess you can't reverse a drop kick. Reverse that, though. And now we're jumped up to the top. We're, I don't know why he did that, but Cody Rhodes going with a good old-fashioned head buster of some sort. Some sort of brain trauma. Causing, you know, some stupid fucking shit. I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about. Drop kick to Sin Cara. Rey Mysterio is, you know, left the fucking ring. What the fuck are you... Get the fuck back on the ledge, Mysterio! These Mexicans. I don't know what it is. These Lucha Libre assholes just don't understand tag team wrestling. Oh, there we go. Only took 20 minutes and now he's not even positioned correctly if I needed to tag him. Of course, Damian Sandow on the other side is doing a superb job of being ready to be tagged for Cody fucking Rhodes. Okay, why is it that everything Sin Cara does feel like Cody Rhodes is reversing it? Oh, except for this suplex, which is a normal fucking move. Seriously, like the last three things I've done with Sin Cara, it seems like Cody Rhodes has been reversing it. Alright, see, so that's a reversal. I almost said that's a reverse, and then I had to add in the old part. That's why it sounded like, that was a reversal. All right, too late with the reversal. Knee to the face. He's going to go tag in. God damn it. Come on. Did you know that there's a rule in the WWE that says you can only save your partner during a pin during a tag match once, but nobody actually knows of it? Um, <laughs> nobody, like, fan-wise knows of it. Can I? Oh, I want to try something. I want to. I want to kind of like springboard. I want to. Okay. Does Sin Cara not have like a thing where he can? Nope. Okay. Whatever. I want to like jump off the. Oh, there we go. See, I wanted to do like the the Chris Jericho jump on the rope and then drop kick the dude type deal, but clearly they didn't want to let me. Whoa, Sin Cara! Fucking fuck that up. Yeah, throw me back in, Cody. Thank you. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here. I just want to win this match as quick as possible because I hate tag matches. So much. I remember back in the day, like, I could never win a tag match. So, like, during, uh, like, Shut Your Mouth and Here Comes the Pain and, like, you know, SmackDown versus Raws and stuff like that, if there was a tag match, oh, I'm bleeding, if there was a tag match during, like, a season mode or whatever, I would just, um, fuck, I would just get disqualified, oh, I missed, I totally fucked that up, I had a hot tag and I fucked it up, come on, Come on, how did I fucking lose that one? I just want to win this. Yeah, I would just get myself disqualified. But it, clearly they're making me win this match in order to continue the story, which means we are going to be here for a fucking while. God, they're just reversing everything. What is the difficulty on this damn thing? Like fucking super legendary or what? Somebody get Cody Rhodes out of the ring. Is Cody Rhodes still in the ring? Is he going to pin me? Oh, I was just going to come back. 
Kick out. Yeah, what? What, Sandow? You can't keep me down. I'm five foot two, bitch. Come back. Come back. Come back. Six one nine. How do you how do you do how do you use the comeback? I don't think I've ever actually used a comeback. Oh what what Sandow? How do I use this? Nope, okay, whatever. How do I use this? Seriously. I'm so fucking lost right now. Uh that's not what I wanted to do, but I will take it. And I'll kick him out too, and then I'll just Dive out. Yeah! What, Sandow? What, Sandow? Okay, well, I'm going to throw Cody into the ring because I grabbed the wrong guy. No! Oh, yeah! What? What? I almost lost my voice on that one. Where do my comeback go? Where is my tag team partner? Boom! Alright, this match is getting losing its intensity very quickly after those two Mysterio moves to the outside. Very quickly. And here comes Sandow, slowly, like a fucking 80 year old man. I actually did not want to tag, but I guess that's fine. Taunt, 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 yeah! Yeah! Sinkara! Sinkara! Yeah, oh, hurt his leg. Yeah, pin him, pin him. One, Sandow, way too big. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Fucking run that way, thank you. Alright, that's not a reversal. That's not Sandow doing anything. I had a comeback. What happened to it? I guess you only get it for so long before you don't figure out how to use it, and then you lose it. I've used it before, I just couldn't figure out how the fuck to use it. Is that That's really upsetting to me. Like, I've used it plenty of times. I just could not figure it out. What? What? No, I wanted to pin the motherfucker. Can I win this already? When am I going to get a... F Never mind. Take that back. What is Sinkara's signature? Alright, well, it's clearly got nothing to do with the dude standing up. A hurricane rana of some sort. Tag, 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 tag. Come on. What is what is Rey Mysterio's signature? Uh, clearly nothing to do with the dude standing up either. Great. So this is going to be terrific. Maybe it's up here. Just Rey Mysterio's. I don't I don't think so. Stop running. Oh, right, well, no, we got to finish her now. Six one nine. Six one nine. Here we go. Game over. Come on, Sinkar, get over there. Fucking, what are you doing? Oh my god, how do you fuck that up any fucking more than that? How do you fuck that up, Sin Cara? God, you're lucky Cody didn't fucking... Oh my god. He gets like halfway through the ring to attack Cody and then just decides, I'm gonna leave. The referee isn't happy with me. I'm just gonna walk out of the ring now. What a fucking idiot. God damn it, Sin Cara. All right, well, ton of sell capital punishment money in the bank. Night of Champions. This is just four of the pay-per-views featured here in the game WWE 13. Just kind of waiting here. Oh, what is this, Mr. McMahon? Ha ha! There they are, Scott Logan. Hey, Vince, it's been a while. <laughs> what did you do to your hair? <sighs> I'm glad you two were able to make it make it tonight. We have a lot to discuss. Shall we get started? Michael Cole, what is going on? Fans, we'll be back. Don't go away. All right, commercial time. Time to just skip this shit. All right. All right. Okay. All righty. Okay. That's how I'm going to spend my... Oh, but you guys want me to wrap? We... Raw, super show, big show, other things that rhyme with show. Don't you know, I'm the best from the West, CM Punk. Terry Funk, dropping rhymes, fucking Ryback, something that rhymes with Ryback, I don't know if there's anything that rhymes with, oh, here we go, WWE Evolution Trivia, many WWE superstars were athletes in other sports before becoming, be, before becoming professional wrestlers, Kevin Nash used to play center in college basketball, which school did Kevin Nash play basketball for, 
think you know the answer, stay tuned to WWE Revolution to find out. North Carolina is definitely not it. Welcome back to Monday Night Raw. It's I'm Michael Cole, joined once again by WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Good to have you back, Jerry. It's good to be back, Michael Cole, but what is the feature, feature attraction? Scott Logan doing here. Uh, he and his wife, Shallow, are out back are out back with Mr. McMahon. Fans, for those who don't know, it was years ago that Scott Logan was the WWE Champion and with Shallow as his manager, held that title for several months due to back injury. Logan was forced to give up the title and retire. And so, in what was a very heartbreaking situation, I wonder what he, Shallow, and Mr. McMahon are talking about. Well, if he is still the same Scott Logan, one can only imagine. Don't forget, fans, we are also going to be joined by HBK Shawn Michaels a little later on, so stay with us. Bless me. Superstar Eve. Oh my god, I gotta wrestle as a fucking diva? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a fucking joke? I'm really starting to hate this goddamn storyline. Story mode bullshit. Why the fuck would I want to wrestle as a fucking diva? Oh yay, Eve Torres is here. Great. Terrific. I'm so excited. Who's she wrestling? Beth Phoenix. Even better. Great. Couldn't have fucking thrown in like some sort of scene where Beth Phoenix like gets shot and dies in that. So it wasn't fucking torturous for me. I have to wrestle as a fucking diva. I have to wrestle as a fucking diva. And is that my only move? That's gotta be my only move, right? Yeah, they don't do this shit on TV. They just come up with this shit for the video game. There's no fucking way. Who the hell is Beth Phoenix? Damn, look at her fucking shitty hair. Man, Beth Phoenix. I think she is what ruined the Divas division. Can we just go ahead and say that? Since she left, the Divas division seems to be doing just fine. They're doing great. Natalia's doing great work. AJ Lee's doing great work. Caitlyn's doing great work. Fuck you, Beth Phoenix. God, Beth Phoenix. Look at her fucking hair. What is up with her hair? What the hell is wrong with Eve's hair? They look like they're wearing like the worst wigs possible. Like these are not believable hair wigs and shit. Her boobs are horrible. She just put her butt in her face. That that's actually a bad move. That's like that might be worse than the Rikishi stink face. I'd rather be stink faced by Rikishi than Beth Phoenix. Just kidding. I'd rather be Beth. I'd rather I would fuck the shit out of Beth Phoenix. If I had to. If somebody was like, I'll give you $100 to fuck Beth Phoenix. She's ready in your, in your bedroom naked. I would be like, all right, cool, whatever. I'll take the $100. Where's the condom? They were like, you don't get to wear a condom and you're not pulling out. I would be like, um, no. I would definitely say no. I had to think about it for a second. But I might say no. I'd probably say no. There is a slim chance that I'd say yes. All right, come on, Eve. What are you doing? You know what I've noticed is a lot of divas wear like shiny, bright colored ring outfits. And I think that's one thing that separates AJ from the best. Because she wears like her cute little, oh my god, her fucking, oh, her fucking adorable ass jean shorts and like a fucking, you know, a, a really cool cut t shirt. And like. I mean, like, kind of like the same thing with, like, Caitlyn. Like, she wears those black pants and, like, you know, whatever else she wears up top. I don't know. But it's, like, I feel like all the other divas, um, with the exception of maybe, like, Natalia, who I think wears, like, actual ring gear that isn't, like, shiny. Like, if you look at Eve Torres' as shit in this thing, is it's, like, it's, like, a turquoise green color. It's, like, bedazzled. It's super sparkly. And it's annoying. Right? Like, I know, like, the Funkadactyls wear shit like that. You know, um, I haven't seen Eva Marie. Uh, let's see. The the Bellas wear shit like that. I mean, I feel like they all wear shit like that. And that's one thing that that's kind of, like, made the Divas Division, like, complete shit. Is what they wear. Like, I don't give a shit if your tits are out. Like, I just, I can't stand the fact that they all are basically, what appears to me, sharing fucking outfits out in the ring. Which I think is why AJ Lee, I don't think that's actually why AJ Lee's been so fucking successful, but I mean, that's definitely probably one of the small reasons. What the hell is she doing? The fuck was that? I'm just gonna do my signature. I'm gonna fucking finish this. I love how Beth Phoenix just moved. She just slid across the fucking thing. Oh. You know what? I do miss Eve Torres. 
Now that I see this, I do miss Eve Torres. Holy shit. Mmm, that booty shake and fucking finisher? Yeah. Yeah. I'd much rather see Rikishi do it, though. Oh my god, no! How much longer? What is this? This is like the same exact thing. I swear to god, her signature, that move, and her finisher are all the fucking same thing as that right there. Alright, Beth, seriously? Fucking quit playing games. I've had enough of your shit. Now, how do I do that stupid, uh, where I target? Yeah, let's target your head. Stupid bitch. Boom. 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 Elbows to the shoulders. Elbows to shoulders. Alright, let's take her out. Kick to the fucking head. Oh, no. We're gonna just do the John Cena a little flip slash. One. Two. Was there a two in there? Alright, let's just keep focusing on her head. Just fucking... God, I just wanna... Ooh, God damn it, Beth. I hate divas. I just hate them. All right, we're, let's pin her again. One, two. You gotta be kidding me. It wasn't even a head scissors. It's like a fucking, I don't know. It's like a fucking botched head scissors. All right, come on. Come on. Is she wearing cat, what was I, I almost said catfish. Is she wearing fishnets? Does anybody really want to see that? Come on, fucking, god damn it, Beth. I don't miss Beth Phoenix at all. Great performer. Great, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. I don't know. Signature. Signature. Game over. This is over. It's done. We are done. We are done here. We are done here. I wanna. I was actually gonna... I'm stuck! Pop that ass! Yeah, here we go. Pop that fucking ass. Yeah. Woo! Work it, girl. How come I can't, like, oh, whatever, I don't care. I was gonna say, how come I can't choose to pin mid-finisher? Game over, Beth Phoenix. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. One, two, three. Game over. 20 minutes in. Woo! Eve Torres wins it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Evie. Eve Torres. Whoa. Not excited at all, if you can tell. Oh, boy. Been a long one here today. Oh, hey there, fella. John, just checking up on you to see if you're up uh, for our match tonight. <sighs> Look, I know the last night, Big Show caught me off guard and took my title. Oh, took me title. And I'd been lying uh, if I said that I might be fast, don't still have a little tingle in it. Uh, but tonight is my chance to uh, let the bear back into Survivor Series. My accent is absolutely horrible. Uh, use every part of that elimination chamber to get all the more payback I can get. That's what me likes to hear, fella. See you out there. Hey, I really shouldn't try to speck like that. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, I guess. I don't know. Cute. Innocent. Vaginas, I don't know what the fuck I'm even saying. Shawn Michaels, and there he is, the heartbreak kid. Don't go away, fans. Shawn Michaels is here. He's returned to Raw. Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, I can't wait. He's here. Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh my God. Shawn Michaels is here. I can't wait. I can't wait for the commercial to be over with. Shawn Michaels is here. All right. Ooh, we've tore his ass shot. Oh. Earlier we asked you about DeKevin, uh, okay, the answer is the University of Tennessee. Told you. Told you. I told you it wasn't North Carolina. You fucking... You guys didn't even fucking believe me. I said, not North Carolina, and you said, John Michaels, HBK, what? Oh my god, there he is, there he is, oh my god, holy Jesus, oh. Oh, okay. I can't hear myself think anymore. Shawn Michaels, here we go. San Antonio, you know I never get tired of hearing those chants, and I never get tired of standing in this ring. Sometimes I tire a little at dancing my way up the ramp, though. That's because I'm older now and have a cookie diet. Wait, what? 
A few months ago, I was out here talking about my good friend Triple H, and I was then joined by the beast of a man named Brock Lesnar. Later that evening, as a way to get at Triple H, Brock Lesnar attacked me from behind, brought me down to this ring, and then broke my arm. Shortly after that, at SummerSlam, an impressive victory, Brock went on to defeat Triple H. Now, after that victory, there was tons of speculation as to what Triple H would do. How would Hunter come back and get his revenge on Lesnar? Would there be a rematch? Would it be at the end of the game? Well, the next week on Raw, Triple H came out and stood in this ring and conducted himself in a manner that I never thought I would, uh, would see him. Uh, <clears throat> he stood here with doubt in his eyes. He stood here and questioned whether it was time to hang up the boots and tighten the corporate tie a little tighter. Since then, nobody has heard from Triple H. Brock Lesnar made his marks uh, once again, walked up, walked out on the WWE. Um, okay. I'm fucking up on reading this. If I'm busy, oh my god. If I'm being honest with you, and trust me, honestly is what I do, I have to admit that I have been haunted by this ever since there is a leg. Oh, ever since. There is a legacy and um, that I and Hunter whew, created both separately and together. Something in this business that is a sacred not only to us, but to the fans as well. And what haunts, and what haunts, man, Jesus Christ, I can't read. And what haunts me is that the last image that the WWE fans of HBK is a broken man with a broken arm. The last image the WWE fans have of Triple H is a broken man with a broken arm. HBK is cross-eyed. I just looked up to HBK and he's cross-eyed. Uh, so today I am out here to make a plea to you, Hunter. Do not make that the end of your legacy, even if you're... What? Brock Lesnar! Lesnar, he's gonna break his arm again! He's gonna do it! Loading screen. God, that just kills the intensity! Lesnar! Lesnar! Heyman! It's Heyman! Okay, nothing to worry about. Heyman with a floating ponytail. Alright, well, and he's coming out with the Mr. McMahon walk. Classic. Classic. I'm really thirsty. Alright. Wait for the next match and then I'm going to stop recording and then I'm going to go jerk off. I'm just kidding. I don't masturbate. I'm a woman. Loading screen. Raw Super Show. Mr. Michaels, as you know, I have the distinct privilege of representing the, the reigning... Defending WWE Champion, the best in the world, CM Punk, but I also am the representative for the most dangerous man in the world, Brock Lesnar. Okay, says Shawn Michaels. I have to ask you, Shawn, what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Uh, when it, it, it says Shawn Michaels, and it's really throwing me off. When When is it going to be over? I haven't spoken to him, but I already know that Brock Lesnar has no interest in coming back, especially to face Triple H again at SummerSlam. Brock did what he said he would do, and that was take Triple H out of his misery. And you know what? The next week, your friend Hunter had the good sense to call it quits. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Me too, uh. huh. Now, Sean, let's talk for a moment. I haven't been around as much, but I've tuned in to Raw every week for the last few years. I've watched you bounce in and out where whenever WrestleMania comes around or there's some sort of throwback night with a DX reunion. Oh, and Shawn Michaels has to talk some more. And then he's probably going to give the mic to Shawn Michaels. And then Shawn Michaels will probably come out and... Oh, Paul Heyman says this time. And I sit there and wonder why. I wonder why would a guy say empathetically that he is done in the ring and that he would never come back but still continually shows up. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, and you know that... And you know what I realized, Sean? Oh, that was a continuation. Okay. That you, that you are miserable. You're miserable. You can go do your hunting show. You can try to pawn off 
to all of the all of us that you love your life outside the squared circle but when it all comes down to it you retired before you were ready and now you are standing in the ring pathetic shell of what you used to be trying to live vicariously through your best friend you figure that since now you are bound to your word that I almost said world that you won't come back you need Triple H to continue on the HBK legacy and take revenge, not for Hunter, but for you. Because at the end of the day, you know just... Oh, you just don't have it anymore. Now tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, tell me he's wrong, Sean. Tell me he's wrong, HBK. Tell me, you're a heartbreaker. This is, I don't know, dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to read that, really. In a way that you guys would able to. It's kind of like a fake. Oh, he kicked him. He kicked him. Oh, suck it. Oh, my HBK took Heyman's head off with Sweet Chin Music. Well, apparently, Sean wasn't very fond of that Paul Heyman had to say. Ah. Raw's getting crazy. King, I'm not sure we've seen the end of this situation. Yeah, Brock Lesnar's going to be at the top of the stage. Oh, no. Never mind. Forget it. That would have been the way I would have went with that. Brock Lesnar at the top. I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. McMahon. Can you tell the WWE Universe why you have the feature attraction Scott Logan and Shallow in your office and what you guys are talking about? Well, Justin, what will be revealed all in due time? Now, I need to go back to my office. They are waiting on me. Did Justin Roberts just grab Mr. McMahon by the arm and try and pull him around? Justin Roberts, you will get your ass handed to you. Why the fuck would you do that? I'll write and review, blah, blah, blah. Why would anybody in their right mind, as small as Justin Roberts, moments ago? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is, was seen just moments ago, blah, blah, blah. We all saw it. We were all there. We don't need a recap. We were there. We played it. We hit the A button through it all. I really didn't do anything. Hakama! Kofi! And as Kofi Kingston makes his way to the ring, you gotta wonder how what Paul Heyman said to Shawn Michaels affected HBK. Well, in my opinion, Heyman had it coming. Those were some more hard words. Yeah, but they were truthful. But were they truthful? Does HBK wish he could come back? Is this a match? I don't fucking know what the hell's going on. Michael, I don't know how to answer that. I'm curious to know what Triple H would say. Does he even want to fight Lesnar again? I believe that down deep, Triple H has questioned that. And it sounds like Shawn Michaels wants to encourage his friend to challenge Lesnar. Well, a big match here is Kofi Kingston and Bray Wyatt. God damn it, Wade Barrett, prepare to square off. How the fuck did I just say Bray Wyatt? Wind condition, light head. What? Oh, I see. I know what I gotta do. Alright, let's just play this one. And then we will... That should have done it, right? We're just gonna basically do the same move over and over again. All right, let's drop him. Blop. All right, let's do another head move. Pin. One. Nope. Ooh, look at that move. That was cool. All right, let's do another another one of these. I just gotta get his head to a light, a light move of uh, of a g of ability or something. I don't know what I'm even saying. How is that a fucking? Oh, I guess so. Oh, fuck. All right, well, let's do it again. This time he should stay down. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Cutscene. 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 Here we go. Here we go. I'm so excited. I'm really actually quite excited for this. Whoo. <laughs> okay. Oh, Miz. The Miz is making his way to the ring. Oh, great. The Miz has had his recent troubles with the Intercontinental Champion, Kofi Kingston. Am I going to have to finish the match now? Oh, I bet the Miz gets involved. Terrific. Wait, is his head still damaged now? Okay, good. Uh, not what I wanted to do. 
I'm basically just gonna fucking do head moves. Um, I mean, it doesn't make much sense to me to do anything else. What the fuck? No! Oh, come on. That was I was on a I was on a really good pace to win this match very quickly, and now here I am oh, reversing a uh, a Wade Barrett pickup. Right, here we go. There we go. That's beautiful. That's great. Do another head move. Nope. Okay. Wait, Barrett doesn't give a shit about me or anything I would care to do here today. Reversal. Nope. Too late. Reversal. Nope. Too late. I, I don't. What are you doing? You're overselling it, Kofi. You're overselling it. You fucking moron. All right. Come on. Come on. Get up, Kofi. Get up, Kofi. Come on. Come on, Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Come on, Kofi! Alright, grab him. There we go. Head move. Boom. Game over. He's bleeding. Here comes Miz. Alright. Alright, run it. What? Wait a minute here. Miz is getting up. That's it. Is that it? Miz stood up. Oh. Miz is making his way around the ring, and with a chair, throws it into Barrett. Barrett with a cheap shot. Ref didn't see it. Going for the three count, and it's over. Miz helping Wade Barrett get the win. Huh. I wonder why the Miz would help Wade Barrett, of all people, get the win. Barrett with a victory over the champion. Yeah, with the help from the Miz. Nevertheless, Wade Barrett with a big win tonight. Oh, this could set up a future match, you know, uh, with uh, Wade Barrett, The Miz. That would be cool. Whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Well, our main event is next. This is going to be huge. The six-man tag is up next. Team Cena versus Team Punk. Don't go away. Sam Punk's a heel in this, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sam Punk's a heel in this. All right, whatever. God damn it. Who gives a shit about the NXT? I'm going to have to definitely follow this Logan guy now when the 2K14 games come out. Games come out when the 2K14 game comes out. It'll be cool. During the break... Oh, welcome back, fans. During commercial break, it kept heating up. It was really turned into a war between these two men. All right, cool. All right. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this match as soon as it starts and then I'm going to you know whatever save or whatever and I'm gonna come back record it at a later date and upload it. This should be like I don't know. We should be on like part five or six by now. I'm gonna just cut this up, you know, into ten minute episodes or whatever and upload them twice a week, once a week, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, I don't know, post it wherever. Get an iPad, put it on, and then tape it to a post somewhere. So that way, whenever somebody walks by, they can just watch my video. Or, uh, put it on your TV at work. Or um, I'd like to skip the entrances, please. Um, maybe, maybe hack a, a system at a, a sports game, at a sports. God damn it! Hack the screens at a, a sporting event and show my videos up there instead of the game. Uh, whatever you see fit to do, really, to share my content, is fine with me. Just make sure you like and subscribe, if you enjoyed it. God damn it, I just want to skip the entrances. That's all I want to do. That's all I'm asking for. That's really it. That's all I want. Just want to skip them. Alright guys, well I'm going to end it here. This has been your boy Intel. I'm out. Bye guys.